Hi boys and girls, just coming up to month 10, it's now October since my hair transplant. As you can see I've sort of brushed it forward today. I get a lot of questions, one of them that's quite popular is can you brush your hair forward or do you always have to have your hair back after a transplant? The answer is no, you can sort of brush it however you want. I never normally have it forward like this but thought I'd just do it to let you see what it looks like and that you can actually brush it forward. Right, I'll just go over the top as I normally do so you can see how it's going. So this is month 10. Okay. So yeah, it's a bit bushy at the moment. Like I've said before, if you have your hair really wet, you can sort of see through to the scalp in certain areas, i.e. the crown mostly. So it's a good idea if you want your hair to look thicker to try and sort of keep it as dry looking as possible or use, instead of like wet look gel, use something like this. I use this, it's called Gents of London Carbon Clay and it enhances texture with a matte finish so it's not shiny. It just looks like that sort of stuff. It smells quite good, you only need a real small bit, rub it between your hands and just rub it through your hair. It's pretty cool. I'll leave it in my Amazon list below, which I've got. The other thing I've bought this month is these Biotin 10,000 MCG. I've not started taking them yet because I've still got quite a few of my other ones. Saw a deal on Amazon, they were quite good. I think they were £12.80 or something for a year's worth, so pretty good value. So I bought those. I'll again leave them on my Amazon page that you can find below. It'll be the first comment. But yeah, I've had a few questions that I'll try and answer. But overall, I'm sort of happy with the way it's going. It's pretty thick now. It's thickening up all the time. The first few months, it's kind of growing. And then sort of like, I don't know, month six onwards, it starts to sort of thicken more. It's a little bit fuzzy at the back where they use some of the beard hair. But, you know, I'd rather have that than have it bald on the crown. The crown again is the slowest part to grow like I've said a lot of times so don't be put off if yours is taking a long time mine took ages it was definitely the slowest part got some questions just written in front of me that I've got I had quite a few people asking this month do you have to take the pills no you don't have to take anything if you don't want to my clinic recommended taking biotin and saw palmetto and multivitamins for a year I'll probably continue anyway because they're pretty cheap. I don't stick to the same brands. I change brands depending on what deal there is available at the time. I choose the herbal route, which is sort of biotin, makes your hair grow stronger and sort of quicker. It also makes your nails grow quicker. Saw palmetto is supposed to be like a herbal version of finasteride. Finasteride I don't take, which is also known as Propecia. I don't take this because I give blood. Just gave my 55th donation of blood last Thursday. It's a complete no-no. If you give blood, you know, they ask you questions about do you take any pills or anything, and they finasteride is completely out of the question. I guess you could probably stop taking it a month before you're about to give blood, but it's more hassle than it's worth. So I've just been taking the natural route, which is biotin, saw palmetto, and multivitamins. I also take omega-3 fish oils, which is basically pretty good for your hair. Yeah, I get a lot of people leaving comments. I'll try and answer as many as I can. If you're going to leave a comment, if it's related to another comment, then fair enough, put a reply. If you want it to go to the top of the list, then just put a new comment, because when I release the comments, which I try and do daily, if there's any new ones, then when they go through, if it's on a comment that was like a month ago, it might go to the bottom of the list, so I might not be able to find it to answer it. So if you want a reply quicker, just put start a new comment on the bottom of one of my videos. Right, I'm just reading through these. Yeah, I'll get quite a few questions about the price per graft. Now in Turkey, they don't charge you per graft or certainly my clinic didn't and quite a few other clinics I know they don't they give you a set price so that price is a package and it includes usually the hotel 
and the transfers to and from the hotel, from the airport and to and from the hospital, from the hotel. In this package, they basically take the maximum amount of grafts without over harvesting. So they try and take as many as they possibly can without over harvesting. Now there is only a sort of set amount they can actually do, even if they could take more, because there is a certain time limit that you get when you take the grafts out from the sides and the back to plant in them. If they don't plant them in time, they will, um, I guess they'll die. So you, there's only a certain amount they could do. Even if there's say four people working on you at the same time, there's only a certain amount that they can get in in time. Like there's some places I think that will do mega transplants, like you go in one day and you go back the next day. Personally, I wouldn't do that. I'd do one transplant, see how it goes, then a year later maybe try another one if you're quite bald. The reason I would say this is, you know, I didn't find it that painful, but you're going to be quite tired, it's, it's going to be a bit sore, and the thought of going back the next day and doing the same thing again is sort of a bit off-putting to me. So I'd wait a year and see how it goes with your first one, see how you react to it, and then maybe go for a second if you need to. I had a question this month, if I had unlimited money, um, what would I have done differently? Would I have gone to somewhere that did more grass? Would I, you know, some people say my hair is very thin. Would I have had a bit more density? The answer is no, I'd have done nothing different. I'm really happy with where I went. I'm really happy with the way it was done. And like I said, it, they took as many grafts as they could. They basically couldn't take any more. At the back, yeah, my crown is a little bit thinner. But like I said, if your hair's fairly dry, you can kind of fluff it up a bit so you don't see through the crown. But anyway, I see it, it's, I get up for work really early now and I have it's dark, I have the light on in the bathroom. If I put a mirror behind my head so I can see brushing the back of my head, you can sort of see through the crown because there's like a really bright spotlight above me. But normally you can't really see through that much and I'm happy. I could go back for another one, not have as good results and you kind of be kicking yourself then. But for me personally, I think I'm going to wait at least a year, which would be December, and I couldn't afford another one if I wanted to at the moment. So I think I'm going to keep waiting and waiting, see if it grows any more on the crown, because the crown can take up to 18 months. And then, if at the moment I don't seem to be losing any more hair, so maybe the saw palmetto is working in stopping me from losing any more. Maybe I've just got to 44 now, It's maybe that's my time for stop losing hair hopefully in say maybe two three four five years if it was sort of coming out a bit more then maybe i might try and have a second op but at the moment i'm pretty happy with the way it's, it's gone it's it's pretty thick and fluffy now so but you get a lot of good comments you get some people who leave bad comments saying things like oh it looks like armpit hair has been stuck on your head and all this sort of stuff a lot of them are keyboard warriors who don't have photos of themselves um, some are jealous, some maybe do think that, it's, it's up to them. But what I'd say is at the end of the day, it's how you feel about you. You're the one wanting it done. Go for it because of yourself. And if you're happy with yours, say you're completely bald and they give you a really good hairline, but you're still bald at the back, but you've got a really good hairline. If that's made you happy, then brilliant, go for it. Don't worry about what anyone else is saying. If the only reason you're not having it done is because you're worried about people taking the mick. Just ignore them. They'll be the ones eating their words when you've got good hair. Yeah, there's like a, a saying, I don't know if it's around the world, but in the UK, beggars can't be choosers. And I feel that I was a bit of a beggar in the fact that I didn't have hair, I was begging for hair, and I can't afford to be too choosy. So that's one thing I would say is, if you're getting it done, you know, don't try not to worry about it. Try to, anything, it's got to be better than nothing. We all want great hair, that's the reason we're getting it done. We all want more hair, but try not to be too picky because there are some people that I get it all the time oh, your hairline looks rubbish, this and that, and I think it looks fine. You know, I, I really like my hairline, I think it looks cool. I'm really happy with it, and a lot of people say it looks great, but you do get some who are like, oh, there's one hair out of place. And if you're that sort of person, then you probably shouldn't have it done because you will find things. I can point stuff out on mine that you probably wouldn't be happy with if you're all really particular about things. I am, in generally, am a bit particular, but with my hair, I'm really happy with it. It's, it's gone pretty cool. It's pretty 
thick now I'm, I'm happy so yeah don't be too picky the, the other thing I get a lot of people who contact me they've only had it done say 10 days ago they've still got the scabs on don't be too particular there don't get a magnifying glass looking at every single hair because you'll you know you'll drive yourself mad you're only at 10 days it takes months and months and it, it is true what they say it's the waiting game so hang in there and and try and relax if you get yourself stressed that's probably one of the worst things for hair being stressed out doctors say a little bit of stress is good for us but if i didn't have to have any stress i'd be more than happy so yeah don't go get in a magnifying glass looking at one hair's out of place or just look at yours look at other guys that have had it done there's loads of websites pictures on the internet where guys have had it done as long as it looks pretty similar to theirs you should be fine just treat it well get a good diet eat well get enough sleep try not to stress and you should be cool yeah, i've got other guys been saying recently you know they've been counting trying to count the graphs in that they had so, I'd find that really, really hard because even if you use a magnifying glass, it's, it's going to be hard. One thing I would say is some places will try and quote you in number of hairs. Some will be graphs. Graphs is what we're interested in because you get single hair graphs, you get double hair graphs, you get triple hair graphs, and I think you can get four or even five, I don't know. But by that, I mean that each little graph that they take out, which is like a little root that they put in, that has got either one hair, two hair, three hair, or four. Now the ones that they put at the front, you only want single hairs because it looks more natural. If you've got like two or three hairs, it would look like little plants, like little palm trees or something coming out your hair at the front, it'd look weird. So yeah, make sure that if they quote you, it's sort of in graphs. And yeah, that's where you've got to go somewhere that's half decent. So they only use the single ones at the front and the the others sort of in the centre or at the back to make it look thicker. Other people have been saying, yeah, mine looks really fuzzy and frizzy. My hair was like that when I was younger. It's always been wavy, it's always been a bit weird, a bit out of control, a bit frizzy. And those bits at the back, you can see some of them maybe beard hair mixed in. So yeah, it's a little bit frizzy, but I'd rather have that than no, no hair at all. If you want to leave a question feel free to leave it in the comments section i do try and reply to most of you as long as you're not having a go at me also if you want something that you don't want published on youtube i've got my instagram you can message me through that that's listed below as always i'll put my amazon list which is all the bits i've, I've sort of bought all the pills it's also things that i've put on there if I see there's a good deal that you guys might want to try or that I might be looking into getting myself. Got a whole range of things. It's not just hair related, it's got other bits because you know I use Amazon quite a lot. Okay, but any questions, leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Alright, cheers. Bye.